Imagine people are shopping at a WooCommerce store and it's raining orders and you're really happy but suddenly your store goes down and you start losing orders and when your store finally comes back online there's important pages and data missing my heart is beating fast just thinking about this this nightmare scenario is much more common than you think and the sad part is it's easily avoidable with reliable backups in this video we'll show you how to keep your store and customers safe by using three chapters In chapter 1 you'll understand the most common backup issues and how to avoid them. In chapter 2 you'll learn how to take a web host backup, a manual backup and a plugin backup. I'll also quickly compare the top 3 backup plugins and help you choose the best one for you. In chapter 3 you'll see how to restore your WooCommerce site. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at Blogwort which helps over a million sites take a 100% reliable backups. You can use the chapters below to skip ahead if you're short on time, but I'd recommend watching the full video because these insights will help you for a very long time. All right, let's begin. Chapter 1: Common Backup Issues. Before we get into the five most common backup issues, there is one misunderstanding that a lot of people have which I'd like to clear up front. We've had a lot of queries from customers who want to backup the database of their users or products, not realizing that WooCommerce stores the critical data of a website in different tables in the database. Fact is that partial backups are just not useful for restores. WordPress stores data in different ways and any missing data will mess up the restore and ultimately your website. Therefore, we always advocate full backups. And then you can always take a partial restore from them if you need to. Now, we we'll cover the five main backup issues that you need to know about. These risks will also help me highlight the five non-negotiable features that your chosen backup plugin must have. Number 1 web host issues your web host stores your website on a server which is essentially a computer just like any other computer servers can also crash for a hundred different reasons like network errors electricity surges software issues malware infections weather fluctuations etc according to survey results released by the uptime institute nearly one third of all data centers had an outage in the past year most people don't realize just how vulnerable their servers are until they get hit and lose their data this is why web host backups are quite risky because if your backups are stored on the same server or even on the same host there's always a possibility that you can lose both of them with no chance of getting your website back however if you have backups stored independent of the host on a separate server you can restore your website on a different server without issues this is what backup plugins do that's why we always need to have an encrypted offsite backup of your site to keep your data truly safe number 2 update errors themes and plugins improve the functionality of your website greatly however these add-ons are often developed by different programmers so they don't always play well together and they can cause a site to crash and data to be lost that's why you need the option of an on demand backup and free staging so you can take a backup right before you install or update anything especially complex plugins like yoast woocommerce and elementor this way you have the option to roll back to a previous version if anything goes wrong number 3 malware issues on average 30000 websites are hacked every day even the best security systems are not 100% invulnerable malware causes a lot of distress and loss to a business in different ways Redirect malware steals organic traffic and visitors from your website and sends them to a spam website instead. Or a phishing attack tries to scam your visitors into giving up their personal information. Other hackers just wipe out data and content from your websites in defacement attacks. A security plugin like Malcare can help clean any hack from your website in minutes. but it cannot bring back deleted content and files if a hacker has deleted them this is why automatic backups are a life saver because you can restore from the latest unhacked version of your site number 4 human error is inevitable when it comes to maintaining a website you may forget to renew the hosting on time or pages or posts may get deleted or there may be some errors of judgment for example if you applied some settings that resulted in an unexpected side effect or if you made certain changes that you didn't like afterwards the key to avoid getting stuck here is to have the option to take unlimited backups whenever you want number 5 restoring issues now that you know how important backups are it is also important to know how frequently your website needs to have updated if you have an e-commerce store or a high traffic site the changes made in a 24 hour period are considerable and not recoverable easy suppose your website's daily backup takes place at 7 am every day during the morning and afternoon after the backup there is a flurry of orders and new users because of a promotion then an admin adds a new plugin at 6 pm and the store crashes you have a backup that was taken at 7 am so your online store is mostly recoverable but if you restore that backup you will lose all the orders and new users that happened in between with real time backups this is not the case every 5 minutes from 7 am onwards to 6 pm blogwort has saved the changes made to your website so there was a save at 7 5 am 7 10 am and so on right up to 5:55 pm 
So now when you want to restore your website, you can choose the 7 a.m. backup and Blogworld will add the events that happened during the day to that backup during the restore. This way, you lose none of your information. Real-time backups make sure that even small changes are easily restorable and you never have to worry about losing important data. So to summarize this section, there are five non-negotiable features that your backup plugin must have. Number one, offsite backups. Number two, on-demand backups. Number three, automatic backups. Number four, unlimited storage. And number five, real-time backups. Chapter two, how to backup WooCommerce site. Option number one, backups with a dedicated WooCommerce backup plugin. The best way to backup your WooCommerce site is to use a backup plugin. Backup plugins take away the headache of manual backups and make restores much more easier than web host backups. However, not all backup plugins are equally effective. The top three are Blog Vault, Updraft Plus, and Backup Buddy, out of which we strongly recommend Blog Vault, which is the best for WooCommerce backups. Now, some of you may wonder if I'm being biased since the name of this channel is Blog Vault. So I'm going to only talk in terms of facts that you can easily cross check by trying out each plugin. If you're short on time, here's a table highlighting the main pros, cons, and prices of each plugin. When you cross check this with our five main non negotiables, you clearly start seeing a winner. Blog Vault gives you truly hands free backups for your online store so you can focus focus on more business critical tasks. Here are the five main reasons we think Blog Vault is the best plugin for WooCommerce stores. Number one, automatic backups, real-time backups, and on-demand backups. Blog Vault basically lets you take any type of backup that you may need. You can even set a time for a backup and forget about it till you need to restore. This frequency can be set to every five minutes as well, so you always have a real-time backup to restore from. There's also an option for unlimited on-demand backups, so you can click a button and take a backup in case you're about to make any changes on your site. Number two, 100% restore success. Blog Vault backups restore 100% every time. There's also a 24-7 customer support team to help you with any issues. Number three, Unlimited yearly storage. Storage costs on local drives and cloud services can add up quickly for large sites, but you never have to worry about that with Blog Vault because you get unlimited storage. While most plugins and web hosts store backups for up to a month at most, Blog Vault gives you access to a year's worth of backups of your website, so you can restore any part of your website from any point in the last year easily. Number four, off-site encrypted backups. All of your site backups are stored off your website server. So if anything goes wrong with your web host or website server, your site can be restored instantly on a different server from a blog world backup. Number five, integrate staging. You can test all of your updates on a staging site before making changes to your live site. Once testing is complete, merge changes quickly without having to repeat the process. Now, setting a blog vault on your website takes just a matter of minutes. You can number one, create a blog vault account. Number two, click add a site. Number three, enter your site URL. Number four, click on automatic installation and enter your WP admin credentials. Your site will start to sync, which means that your first backup is already in progress. Every subsequent sync will only back up the changes made to your website. So the Blog Vault backs up your site without any load on your server. Also, given that Blog Vault stores your backups in an external server, it does not affect your website performance. For WooCommerce sites, we recommend upgrading to the advanced plan for real-time backups. With real-time backups, your site's data is saved every five minutes. That means at any given time, your data is completely backed up up to within five minutes. This is a huge advantage for online stores as things can change very fast with users, products, and sales happening almost every minute. If there is any reason you're facing any issue installing Blog Vault, just shoot an email to this ID and their 24 seven support will help you out. Option number two, backup WooCommerce with your web host. Many web hosts offer backups as an add-on or part of their hosting packages. In fact, many hosts back up all their servers as a safety precaution in case there are any untoward incidents. However, in the latter case, there is no guarantee that the web host will share that backup with a customer. The first step to backing up your website with your hosting company is to figure out if it is indeed a part of your package, read the terms and conditions, or reach out to the support team for help. Once you have this info, it is easy to set up backups. Please note, we use WP Engine screenshots to illustrate the steps in this tutorial. The steps will vary depending on your web host. Step number one, log into your hosting dashboard and choose the site that you want to backup. Number two, select the backup option from the menu on the navigation panel. Number three, click through the on-screen instructions to complete the backup. You may be able to get automatic backups, which take place at a scheduled time. Some web hosts will also allow you to customize which parts of the website you want to backup as well. However, we recommend that you always take a full site backup. This may or may not be possible depending on server constraints. So please ensure you have all the details from your web host before you start taking backups. We have complete guides for backups and restores for the major web hosts, which is GoDaddy, SiteGround, WP Engine, and Bluehost, which I'll add in the description below. However, 
Please be warned, webhost backups are a good option for first-time users but should not be the only backups on your website. There are several occasions where people have lost their websites entirely in spite of getting webhost backup. Here are some common reasons why webhost backups are unreliable. Backups are stored on the same server as your website. Server issues can take down your site and its backup leave you nowhere. Additionally, storing multiple copies of your website on your server means that the backups are eating away at your website resources. In these cases, users have to choose between expanding the website or maintaining their backups. This is not a choice anyone should make. Offsite backups are not available immediately. Even if your website is backed up on an external server, you need to contact customer support to access it. When something goes wrong, you want to be able to restore your site quickly, which is generally not possible with webhost backup. Malware makes webhosts trigger happy. If malware is detected on your website, web hosts act quickly to take the website offline and in some cases delete it outright. Bluehost is particularly trigger happy in this front. Unfortunately, they will delete backups as well and you are left with nothing with which you can rebuild or recover your website. This is why we always recommend using a dedicated WooCommerce backup plugin like Blogboard instead of relying on web host backups. Option number three, backup WooCommerce website manually. Manual backups are the least time effective and most tedious to take. If anyone has to rely on a manual backup process, chances are they will start cutting corners and skipping backups regardless of how dedicated they are. Manual backups are time consuming and that time is honestly better spent doing something more productive. Having said that, it may sometimes be useful to know exactly how to take a manual backup, a bit like knowing how to drive a stick when all the other cars are automatic. First thing to understand about manual backups is that you're going to have to take two partial backups for a complete WordPress backup. That means you need to backup the files and database separately and save the two backups together each time. We've put together a complete guide on how to take manual backups and restore them, which I'll add in the description below. However, in most cases, we strongly advise against taking manual backups for three main reasons. Number one, unreliable restores. The whole point of a WordPress backup is that you can restore your website if it crashes or breaks, but cPanel is not built to handle large sites. So after a certain size, the backup will almost always fail. This is especially the case with large databases. Number two, restores mean downtime. To restore a website, you have to delete the files and database and then copy the restored files and database in their place. This is an understandably nerve wracking process because your website will be down the whole time the restore is taking place. There's no way to test a WordPress backup before restore. As a continuation of the previous point, there is absolutely no way to know if the backup you have gotten is complete and downloaded correctly during the backup process. So when you go in to restore, you could discover that the folders are empty or corrupted and that's your backup and website gone up in a puff of smoke. These scenarios may sound nightmarish because they are, but these are actual experiences of customers before they chose to use Blockworld. So we'd recommend only relying on a proper backup plugin like Blockworld for your backups. Chapter 3. How to restore a WooCommerce backup. Option 1. Restore a Blockworld backup. The other half of a backup is to do the restore, and this is where Blogworld shines as other backup solutions fail. Manual backups with cPanel are notorious for failing with large WooCommerce databases. However, with Blogworld, this is a really easy process. Step number one, navigate to backups from your Blogworld dashboard. Step number two, hit the restore button. You can then select which backup and what parts of the backup you want to restore. You can restore specific files, plugins, and themes, and also choose which tables you want to restore. Partial restores like this are often useful when only one part of the website is malfunctioning and you would like to keep the other parts just as they are. Step 3. For a WooCommerce site, you should have real-time backups enabled as your store is very dynamic. Real-time events captured in the last 24-hour period will show up in the advanced options. Again, you can cherry-pick the ones you want and disregard the rest. With WooCommerce backups, you don't want to lose any data during restore. Real-time backups capture that information so you can still restore your website backup but without information loss. Therefore, even though Blogworld has full backups, you can customize the restore. You can choose particular plugins or themes to restore and leave everything else intact. We always recommend restoring an entire WooCommerce database in one go. WooCommerce stores connected data in multiple database tables like Post and PostMeta. Restoring one or the other will cause this to break. So it is always best to avoid partial database restores for WooCommerce stores. In case you need to figure out which backup to restore, you can go into the history section for details about what each backup contains. You can also restore your site from there. Moreover, you will find that blog wall restores always work perfectly. Your site will restore without errors or downtime. Option 2. Restore a web host backup. Restoring a web host backup is usually an easy process if the web host provides automatic backups like WP Agent. Alternatively, you can choose to restore a backup via cPanel, which is essentially the same steps as the manual restore process. 
Number one, log into your hosting account. Number two, choose the site you want to restore. Number three, select the backup option from the menu on the navigation panel. Number four, select the backup point you want to restore and click to restore. This process is fairly straightforward. However, you do need to check if there are any errors or breaks on your website. There is no way to test the restore first before sending it to your live website. So you need to take appropriate steps. Apart from the inability to test backups prior to restore, there is usually no option to partially restore a backup. With WooCommerce sites, we have said time and time again that you should restore the full database every time, but that is not a necessity with the files. It would be great to roll back a single plugin or theme and keep everything else as it is. But with web host backups, it is usually all or nothing. Option number three, restore a WooCommerce backup manually. Restoring a backup manually is essentially the backup process in reverse. It is a nerve wracking process because you need to delete everything before the restore. Also, your site will be down for the entire restoration process. So choose a time with light traffic to carry it out. You can restore files and database using cPanel via File Manager or FTP and restore with Backup Wizard. We've put together a complete guide on how to take a manual backup and restore them, which I'll attach in the description below. But before you try this, please note, restoring a WooCommerce site is the other half of a backup process and this is the crucial juncture at which most methods fail. Either the databases are too large or the backup taken was not complete. Restores should work flawlessly, otherwise the backup is entirely useless. We have encountered errors like empty files, corrupted data or even files lost by the web host. These are devastating to say the least and that's why we recommend plugin backups with a reliable plugin like Blockbox because restores are as easy and seamless as taking backups. I'll add a link in the description for a free trial. Conclusion. Finally, one super important thing you should know is how to quickly detect and clean malware from your site. Check out the video linked above to successfully deal with any type of malware. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll help you out. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.